Today's radar and electronic warfare systems face an increasingly cluttered spectral environment. As an example, the airwaves in an urban setting include countless potential interfering emitters, such as wireless communications infrastructure and civilian radars. Evaluating hardware under a variety of highly realistic scenarios helps characterize system performance in the presence of multiple interference signals. Traditionally, hardware is tested with systems resembling the actual operating environment. This is often difficult and costly. Recent advances integrating electronic system-level design software with high-performance, wideband, arbitrary waveform generators have made possible flexible and less costly approaches. You will see how commercial off-the-shelf design software and test equipment is combined to create highly realistic test signal scenarios. A multi-emitter test signal is created which combines an L-band radar, LTE, EDGE, GSM, WCDMA, and S-band radar signals. This is the flexible test equipment setup. System view design software is installed in the controller used with the M8190A wideband arbitrary waveform generator. It is used to generate and combine the various emitters and download them to the AWG. The M8190A AWG can generate a modulated IF signal directly as connected here or it can generate I and Q signals to drive the wideband, differential, I and Q inputs of the PSG vector signal generator for carrier frequencies up to 44 gigahertz. The 90,000 Q series Infinium oscilloscope provides analysis of wideband signals with up to 62 gigahertz of bandwidth over multiple phase coherent channels. It is used with the 89600 VSA software to analyze the multi-emitter 2.5 GHz spectrum created. The PXA signal analyzer is used with the 89600 VSA software to demodulate each emitter and then measure its EVM. Let's start by creating the multi-emitter signal. The composition is two radar signals. L-band and S-band combined with five wireless signals, one of which serves as an interferer. This system view schematic is used to create the multi-emitter signal from several source types. The pre-configured radar signal sources from the radar library include an L-band and S-band emitter. The wireless signal sources from the standards-based wireless libraries include LTE and WCDMA emitters and a WCDMA interferer, which is in the same band occupied by the S-band radar. There is also GSM and EDGE emitters. Although not part of this setup, captured live signals could also be combined through SDF recordings captured from digitizers such as the M9703A and VSA software. These are all combined using the signal combiner element, which resamples and combines the radar and wireless comms emitter signals so that they can be downloaded to the M8190A AWG to create the multi-emitter test signal. This is the resulting multi-emitter test signal from System View and the M8190A AWG as measured on the Infinium oscilloscope using the 89600 VSA software. Here you see the composite time domain waveform, while the 2.5 GHz frequency spectrum shows the seven signals previously combined, L-band radar, LTE, EDGE, GSM, WCDMA, S-band radar, and the WCDMA interferer to the S-band radar. To illustrate the quality of this highly realistic signal, let's zoom into each of the wireless emitters and demodulate them with the PXA signal analyzer and 89600 VSA software. The residual EVM performance of each of the wireless emitters is low, showing the excellent signal fidelity of the wideband M8190A AWG. Design simulation software 
combined with high-performance test equipment, is used to create highly realistic test signals. It provides the flexibility and signal fidelity to address the increasingly cluttered spectral environment for tomorrow's radar and electronic warfare systems. It enables creating highly realistic test signals using reconfigurable AWG technology, which can be repurposed for different emitter scenarios using design simulation. It provides flexibility and convenience to combine pre-configured simulation sources for radar and wireless and recorded signals from digitizers and signal analyzers. In addition, it is cost-effective and suitable for lab environments. For more information on Agilent's solutions for creating multi-emitter signal scenarios, please visit www.agilent.com slash find slash ad.